guys, Leanna here. Um, I said I wasn't going to do any more Evil Within, but um, I wanted to bring attention to this one character because we're going to do a little bit of gender stuff in the Evil Within. We have a nurse, a throwback sort of vintage nurse with like, you know, the 1940s, 1950s outfit, which has got the granny sweater and the glasses, but let's face it, She's hot. And then she takes out her nail files and files them, which is, you know, it's a visual trope. It's, it's back to the old board secretary thing. And if you see her, she's sort of, you know, she's modestly dressed, but you got those, you got the cankles showing, right? Uh, the shoes couldn't be more sensible, but not what nurses wear in real life. So we've got this sort of gray area between, and then, you know, she's got the cute little perky ponytail and a, an ass clad in white that, let's face it, everybody stares at at least once because she's constantly walking ahead of you. And she's such an ice queen that the rebellion kicks in. And that's not good. That's like the evil within all of us get it. See what I did there? Um, but there's this loop that goes on with the player with this character. Is we, we tend to catch ourselves checking her out in the game, because I mean, let's face it, she's definitely attractive, surrounded by a freaking dump as the game goes on. She's clearly out of place, and that's deliberate. That's not you know, blatant, like just unthinking sexism. That's a deliberate artistic choice. And the way this game functions is a lot of guilt uh, in this psychological horror title, and that is through the relationships the main character, the detective, has with various women in his life and in the antagonist's life. And so this constant um, relationship you have with this nurse is, is part of the game screwing with you. It's not screwing with you by scaring, with, scaring you, it's screwing you by making you feel guilty. So every time you go, oh wow, she thought, I shouldn't do that. She's clearly not interested in me looking at her. But that's the point. That's what you're supposed to feel. And that happens a lot in games. It's, it's what I call a passive mechanic. Like this button prompt thing, oh, you can save your game. That's an active mechanic, right? This thing that happens without any prompting, without any, um, without any button mashing, without any specific controls, I call that passive mechanics in games. Because it's actually something the game is permitting you to do. And I believe the developers intend me to do. What's this? What are you nipping behind the desk lady. See, that's there. And somebody had to put that there. It's not a mistake like in a film set and somebody just dropped something. These are digitally rendered environments. Everything is deliberate. And so this nurse is actually representing the conflicted opinions the main character has with women. And I'm not going to get into all of those because, oh, maybe I will. This game's been out a while. So you got a guy Oh, shadowed face. This dude, his wife, uh, is likely dead. I don't know yet. I haven't finished the game. His daughter's dead. He's chasing a guy whose sister is dead. Um, and then there's this... Um, his, his wife was once his partner. I think she was a cop, too. And now we have this nurse. So we have a main character who's very conflicted regarding women. There's another character named Kidman, who is the most competent freaking character in the whole game. She understands how to not die from zombies um, better than the two guys do. Um, but they got off on a bad foot because she's, you know, stereotypically by the book and he likes to break the rules um, because he fell into a bit of a drunken stupor after his daughter died in a fire. Um, literally died in a fire. I, I'm not being insensitive. Um, and, and so this nurse, the, the most common visual female representation in this game, is deliberate. And she's a deliberate throwback for numerous reasons. But also just on a very surface area. The checking her out is part of what you're supposed to do. But that feeling of, oh, I'm not supposed to do that. You're also supposed to do that too. And I think that's very clever, and I think that if we keep going down this rabbit hole of 
a very uh, rudimentary surface gender analysis, we're going to lose neat interactive experiences like this. So that's why I'm pointing this out. Um, and for all I know, Japanese nurses could dress like that. I mean, I don't know, but I don't think so. This game's supposed to be Western. Um, the funny thing is that when the Japanese make games based on Western tropes, it's always very informative to me to see how they spit them back at us. Um, I think that's a learning experience for the West, and instead of getting mad at it, we should sort of embrace that and go, yeah, our culture is kind of silly. Oh, she's giving me cut eye. Look at that. Look at that. But, uh, so yeah, I just wanted to bring that to you guys' attention. Um, because you asked. You wanted more of this sort of stuff. So please subscribe. Please comment so I can do more stuff like this. Um, still trying to find my voice on this YouTube channel. Um, still trying to figure out what works and do what doesn't. I know it's kind of all over the map right now, but I get something I think is working and then it dies off. So, uh, please, uh, if you like this, please let me know. Uh, please watch some of the other videos. Uh, I don't want to do just one thing, but I, I don't want to be too all over the place either. I want to find a focus that is more personal, more off the cuff, and not stuff I'm doing for websites, but at the same time still, you know, enhances the experience of gaming and shows my love of games and all that stuff. So, um, thanks for watching, guys. 